Okay, we're standing outside here today because I'm going to spray my feathers here. And uh, besides that, it's really a nice day out here. So anyway, I've got here a can of uh, dark, dark walnut. Rust-Oleum dark walnut spray. And eagle feathers is, is what we're going to have here. And the top half of an eagle feather is black. And then it sort of bleed has a lighter color black down below. So that's why I use this color first. So here we go here. Make sure it's working here. What I'm in, I'm only interested in coming down part way. That's plenty. Now I'm going to go do the back. That's good. I like that. Okay, now we can go back inside. Okay, back inside here. Alright, this is uh, still wet, so we're not going to be able to mess with this until probably the next video. So we're just going to set that aside. You'll notice that it's kind of splattered a lot. What I did to do, get that is I, I didn't clean out the end of my can of spray. So there's a lot of stuff dried up on the little hole in the, up there at the nozzle. But that's exactly what, what I'm looking for, is these little spots. I like that. And if you look at real eagle feathers, they'll have little spots. And when we paint, paint the black on uh, for part of it, we're going to do that by hand with just uh, licorice paint here. I'll make more little spots with the black, okay? But like I say, we can't do that now because it's, it's wet and I'm not going to try to do it. So today what I thought we'd do is uh, we'll, we'll just prepare these areas here for the uh, detail that comes, comes later on them. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get me a nice green color here. Squeeze that a little bit. Don't need a lot. Somewhere in there it is. Come out of there. Oh, that's too bright. I don't want that. I'm going to use this avocado, sort of a pine green. There we go. That's plenty. And we'll use uh, Moroccan red. That's a real rich red color. start falling. Okay. So we'll do the red color first here. I'm just going to paint red on the inside of this uh, chest decoration here. Just on one side of it. Kind of shaky. Been out burning brush all all morning and part of the afternoon. Running around the fields from one pile to the next. Had three fields going out there. We've been, had a drought here where we are. For the last shoot month month or two and uh, finally got some rain so everybody's been burning brush because we were under a burn ban because of the drought all right so that's what I've been doing so far earlier this morning and still have to keep an eye on it but I wanted to get some of this done if you guys are interested. I've been thinking 
thinking about what the next project will be. And it's going to be something fun because I'm going to show you, hopefully, how to make a full carving, full body carving the easy way. That you'll be proud of when you're done. And that's a little light that I want, so I'm going to darken that up with Midnight Blue. Well, I was hoping some of that green would blend in with that, but it, I guess it dried too quick. trucks been going around, the fire trucks have been going around here all day today. Don't know what's going on. Judy and I went out for breakfast this morning. There were trucks going up and down outside like crazy. Sounds like they still are. I can't. Coming down our road, sounds like. Okay, got that done. Okay, now what's next? All right, now we're going to paint the. Start painting the beaded area just to, to get the undercoat colors on there. And what I'm using for that is basically they use a white for, you know, they use white beads. But I don't like to use white beads because they're just too bright. So I use a color called parchment, which is almost white but has a little little yellow in it or brown. I think it's a prettier color. Covers better than white. Because sometimes come out of there, come on. I don't think I'm plugged up. They're right here. Probably won't lose half of that. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, I just find it's a better, better color to paint with. It covers better. White, white can, oh, I remembered what I was talking about. White can be uh, transparent almost sometimes. Well, this is, this is opaque, so I ain't worried about that. Ain't, I ain't. I am not worried about that. And I just lightly brush over the top of these because I don't necessarily want to get down into the into the grooves that I've burnt. Thank you, Judy. Because that gives me the texture for the for the beads. If I get down in there it's alright. I'm not trying to. We live just outside of Grove, Oklahoma, up in the northeast corner. But we go to this little restaurant down in Jay, which is about, well, I guess, seven, seven or eight miles south of us. 
because they have have a much better breakfast menu, I think, than anything in Grove. And Judy and I, we sit next to the community table. We don't sit at the community table because we're really not in the Jay community. But being as Jay is the county county seat, a bunch of the boys come in and talk about what's going on in the city and everything. So we sit in the booth right across from the community table, and that way we get to hear about all the all the gossip that's going on in town. It's kind of funny. All right, we've got that done. So what am I doing here? I'm looking for a good brush. It's got a point on the end of it, sort of. I think this one, this that one I was showing you where the point. Still got the point, but most some of the outer areas are pretty well wore out. So I'll continue doing this and we'll come back once I'm done. Okay, I've got a first coat on here and right off you're probably going to say, well he just said don't cover up the burn areas here and here I've done it over here. Well, the reason I'm doing it over here on this big beading strip is because there's going to be some a design in here on the beading and if you don't fill it all in it's kind of rough to paint, especially for an old guy like me. So I just cover it all. It gives me a better uh, surface to do the design, okay? So I'm going to uh, give this another coat. So I'm going to dry it before I do that. See this as or, uh, this parchment paint. See, it's it looks white, like white, doesn't it? But it's not. I haven't decided on what design to put on here. I have to look back through my research material I've got here just to see what we can do. Got some more paint here. Where'd it go?
Okay. Now what I'm going to do Hey, what I'm going to do is change brushes. Need a little more water in my paint. So I'm going to go around and paint all these like this. Judy don't have to hold the camera. We'll come back in a little bit and I'll be done. Okay, got that painted. So now this is uh, raw sienna. Very nice tan color. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of that. Oh boy, that, that was really coming out of fire. I'm just kind of putting some paint on there and just blending it in. See, that gives us sort of a three-dimensional shadow effect. Get all the paint out of my brush helps blending it. Alright, 
Now using my red here. Careful, I'll be smearing my other paint. And again, that little hook on the end of that brush really comes in handy. Instead of trying to get it down here, I push it, push it forward, and it works real good. Oops. A lot of people have been asking me to friend them on Facebook, and there's something, something either on, I think it's on my, my Facebook, but when they ask me to friend them, which I generally do, because I, you know, I have lots of friends, and I like to see what they're up to, and I like to. let them know what I'm up to. But when they, when I friend them, I get a notice immediately from every one of them, which is exactly the same, asking me, it starts out, how are you today? And if I answer them, which I generally don't, I don't answer them, because the other day I just ran a little test to see what the hell was going on. If I say, I'm doing fine, they'll immediately come back again and say, have you heard the good news? And guess what the good news is? It's a stupid sales pitch. So it's some stupid bot that someone's put on, like I say, probably mine, I don't know how in the hell to get rid of it, but it's just irritating as can be. I don't know what that is. But it's gone now. Okay, I think that's just about it for today. So anyway, if you send me a friend request, I'll probably no doubt approve it but uh, if I get a little notification from you to saying how are how am I doing I'm just going to ignore it so don't if you send me that you're not going to get an answer okay because I won't know whether it's really you or the bot so I'm just not going to answer it so anyway, I got a couple of touch-up spots there, one where I slopped over in this back here needs to be cleaned up a bit. So that's going to uh, take care of that. I'm going to take this out of here for a second and put the Indian's head on just to take a look. He's looking pretty good, I think. It'll look great once we get that design on the beading 
and hopefully some, uh, what do you call them, hieroglyphics on the front here to fill in this blank area and make that a little more interesting. Okay, so with, with the feathers on him, that's probably, he's going to look like a pretty neat dude, I think. Okay, so anyway, that'll do it for the day, and uh, we'll hopefully be back tomorrow with another video. I'll talk to you later.